I've already got the functions there on your paper so that all you have to do is kind of follow along, draw some graphs when I draw them. So uh, we did piecewise functions in pre-calc. Uh, you may remember it, you may not remember it as much as uh, I hope you would, but that's okay, we're gonna go over it, okay? Um, so we have this function that is x plus two as long as your x value is not equal to one. So everywhere but at x equals one, our function is going to look like um, x plus 2, and my thing is like way off. That's really weird. Okay. Oh, my. All right. Nothing like technical difficulties first day in the morning. Let's try this again. Nope, that's not good. All right. All right. So, um, this function, if we graph it, it looks like the line x plus 2, okay, everywhere except for at x equals 1. So we've got um, a y-intercept of 2, a x-intercept of negative 2. This is what our function looks like, except at 1 we have a hole. And at 1 our function is equal to 5. And I didn't draw this very well, but 5 is not quite up that high, but we'll go with it. Okay. Um, let me just right. Here. Okay. We've got a hole at one, and its y value is five. So if we are asked, what is the limit? As we approach one of this function, we are talking about as we're following our graph, okay, from the left and from the right, as we are getting closer and closer to our x value being one, what y value are we actually approaching? What y value? So the limit of this function as we approach 1 is actually 3. Now, f of, um, f of 1 is 5, but that's not what the limit as we approach 1 is. What do you mean disregard? Well, because the better the whole thing. Right. Right, yes, yes. We are still approaching that y value. Even though we don't actually equal a y value of 3, we are still approaching that. Um, and that is the limit of our function. Okay, that's where we're headed, physically headed, as we follow this function. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, let's look at a quadratic here. We've got um, x squared minus 4, as long as our x value is not equal to negative 3. So that is a parabola um, with a y-intercept of negative 4, x-intercepts of negative and positive 2, and at negative 3, we've got a hole, and the y-value at negative 3 is actually negative 4. So we've got this random point down here. It doesn't really make any sense, but that's the function. That's how it's defined. Okay. Um, so as we are approaching negative 3 from the right and from the left, following the graph, our y values are headed to whatever should be there at that hole. Well, how do we figure out what should be at that hole? We plug it into the quadratic. Negative 3 squared minus 4, uh, and that is 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. Now, g of negative 3 is negative 4, okay? But we plug it into the other piece to figure out where our function is headed. The hole is at negative 3 
positive 5. That point right there is the point negative 3, positive 5. Okay, so I'm not going to draw this one because I think you've started to catch on to what we do with these. Anytime we have a piecewise function that has the equal to and not equal to, we are going to plug that value into the not equal to part. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to do that. You, you think that you should plug it into, um, and I don't know why that says, oh, it says two because I'm just trying to distract you and they do this sometimes. Okay, notice that uh, your function is defined as negative three x minus one when x is not equal to zero. So for all x values not equal to zero, here's your function. Well, how long ago the limit is two, what does that do? They do call limits two times to zero, so we use that first piece there, so we just plug it in. Negative six minus one is negative seven, so that's the limit. But we would do the same thing if we wanted to find the limit as we were approaching zero, we would still plug it into the first piece, okay, because uh, that's where our values are headed, even though at zero, the y value actually equals five, but that's not really where the graph was headed. Okay, five just kind of a random point floating out there. Okay? So